Good morning. I'm Dr. Jason Blazard. I'm the director of eye care at Columbia Basin Health Association. And I'm Kevin Renner. I work in administration here at CBHA and uh, looking forward to your sharing thoughts and an update on what's happening with eye care at CBHA. So can you first tell us, uh, is eye care open? And if so, what is uh, what are we open for? Yeah, so um, fortunately, yes, eye care is still open. Um, as you may be aware, we are, uh, we've been requested to limit our services only to essential visits, and so our staff are limited as well. We do have a provider on site each day of the week, Monday through Friday, eight to five um, in Othello only. Unfortunately, in Connell and Mattawa, we've closed our doors until the CDC approves uh, full services again. Um, we are available to see patients for urgent and essential cases, and so our providers are reviewing all phone calls to make sure that bringing patients in is safe for the patient and that there's a need. Um, so examples would be injuries at work, uh, eye infections, and uh, I mean, if your glasses break and you don't have a replacement and you need them to work, um, give us a call and we can figure out if we should be getting you in or doing another type of visit. One other service that we're offering now is uh, telehealth uh, visits, which is another opportunity for patients to get the care they need without having to come into the clinic and therefore reducing the risk of exposure to the coronavirus. And how would that work for an eye care visit? What would the patient be able to do by telehealth and what could the provider do? Yeah. Well, there's, there's two ways to do it really. Um, the first one is a simple phone call. Um, fortunately for eye care, a lot of the, the, the things that patients may experience would be, um, we'd be able to diagnose over the phone. And so if they can get, tell us of their symptoms and how long it's been going on, a lot of that we can prescribe medication for or consult with the patient. We can also do um, a video conference. And so we're using the Zoom app for patients to be able to call in and talk directly to the provider face-to-face -face on the phone. And sometimes we can even have them scoot the camera in and give us a, an image or a, a video of their eye problem. And that can help us to determine First of all, if they need to come in or not, and second of all, if they don't need to come in, can we try to treat it um, remotely? And then they can go pick their prescriptions up through the, through the drive through pharmacy. And so we've done this for a number of patients already. It's been very successful. Um, I think patients have appreciated it because we love to see our patients. We love to see your smiling faces, but right now it's better to, to keep, to stay home. And so we want to do everything we can to make that happen. And thank you. Can people still get glasses and contacts now? Yeah, so our, our optical services, so uh, our glasses and contact lens orders, we're still doing those because we know that people, of course, people need to see. They need to be able to do their jobs and, and help out their families. And so um, if you have a pending order with us, there, you know, a lot of those are um, in process. Some of them are being a little bit delayed because of shipping and things like that right now, but they are en route. Um, you can order glasses and contacts still. We do ask that if you're going to come into the clinic in Othello and look at glasses to go directly and talk with the optician. Um, we've sterilized all of our frames and that means anytime a patient comes in and tries on a frame or touches the frame we need to sterilize it again and so make sure you're talking with the optician first and they'll be happy to assist you with with picking out your glasses and you can order contacts as well through us and we can get those to you. Um, if you would like to come and get your glasses and you would rather stay outside and not come into the clinic, we are more than happy to bring them out to you. Um, so if we would do like a curbside visit where you just call us on the phone and let us know you're here. You can park by the pharmacy and uh, one of our opticians will be happy to bring those out to you. And uh, that way you can stay outside and, and be a little safer. Great. So it's good to hear that eye care is still open. Yeah. Uh, can you just summarize or any final thoughts you'd want to share with uh, the community? Yeah, I mean, um, the, the, main, the main things we want people to know, of course, is that we're here. We want, we want to help you and uh, we're here to help. And again, our providers are doing a lot of uh, work on the phone to answer questions and get people helped out. And I just want to emphasize, to, if you're not sure if you need to be seen, to please call first instead of coming in. Um, a phone call is much better. And then, of course, if we feel you need to come in, we would let you know that and, and have you in. And anything we can handle over the phone or on a telehealth visit um, is preferable. Great. So thanks, Dr. Blazer, very much for the update on uh, eye care at CBHA. Of course. Thank you.